Hey guys, it's Ben Allen. The last part we did stuff in this part. We're going to Toy Button. No, we're not. We're going to Alice Penthouse. More video. Now, where's my trusty steam? Hold on. I have to ride off. This is the sunset. Run like the wind, Bullseye. Run like the wind, scratchy disc. Watch, wait, wait. I'm ticklish, okay? Oh, you are? No, 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 no
Yeah, um... I don't think it takes this long to fill... I'm sorry, I don't think it takes this short of a time in order to fill an entire room up with water. I mean, just coming from experience, it took me like three minutes just to fill up like one foot of the room. Anyway, after you fill all that up, you just jump down. And you start to head outside where everything has been flooded. No, it hasn't. <laughs> By the way, if you also head back in the room, you'll find that it's not flooded, and that's kind of that's kind of cool. Spin that bird. Yeah. Letting you onto the table, does it? Snake, 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 snake. I don't like snakes. Ah, oh, what the heck? I was in my climbing animation. Jeez. So anyway, we're near the end of the game. Near, not at. Ah, oh, you thought you could get me there, didn't you? Yeah, we're not at the end of the game, but we're, we're, we're closing in. We're in the last third. It's a bit of an odd stage. I know. Here's one thing. How about all these... Apparently, the reason they explain the coins, I may as well just say, is that Ham lost them, and you have to get them, and it makes sense for the purpose, but then it makes no sense how did you, how did you get them, where, where they all come from. Now here's an annoying jump, you have to jump across the entire hall. Anyway, now here's something, here's a box that you can move in two directions. Well, yeah, I know, the birds explode. But I recommend moving in here just because this room requires some pretty nifty thinking. Die thing. Ow. So anyway, yeah. Uh, now you're wondering, is like, oh, how are you gonna pull off a puzzle in this game, man? Eh? Oh, you, the only puzzle you pulled off is mixing colors, <laughs> and you'd be right on that. But this puzzle basically involves a train and stuff. I actually played a few puzzle games that involve trains. Hmm. Professor Layden may count as one. You like Professor Layden? I'm talking to you. Kate. Mm -hmm. Do you like Professor Layden? Yes. Okay, there you have it. <laughs> so anyway, what you gotta do is you gotta hit these switches and that changes the tracks up between the things. You need to get the train to stop at the point all the way over there, I think. Now how do you do this? I have no clue. I unfortunately do not know the precise combination that makes it happen because it constantly goes between these tracks anyway. So it depends on your timing and when you come into this room. I'm just going to assume that you got to hit all of them. But that's a bit of a bad estimation. Oh, you gotta get the train to stop so you can push this box along. There you go. Come on, wait for me! Alright, now hopefully we'll get it to stop. Best way to check is to go from the back. Ah, oh, dang it, he's not on the right track. He was not born this way. 
Yeah, that's, no, I, that's reference. Reference, yes. Cocoa Pops. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Cocoa Pops ad. Yes. Now we're gonna do some advertising, I guess. Whoa, gosh. Hold up, Mexicans. I don't want you firing at me. I know they're probably Spanish, but I don't care. I know someone will yell at me, but... Where'd the train go? Now, if you're wondering what's the point of this, you got to push the box all the way so you can jump on it, and then you can jump on top of this... bed? He has a train for a bed. Ooh. That is very sad. Alright, I believe I'm going to keep that. And then I'm gonna fall off. I like how when you go near the end of one of these, the tracks seem to bend. I don't know why. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. I'm a fire in my laser. Hey, he's stuck in the middle anyway. Yeah, let him push me. Alright, so basically, nothing I'm doing right now is doing anything except for the end. So, nifty puzzle, eh? No time to so if I press that, then I'll do something. Oh yeah, he'll go back onto the middle track. Now what do I need to do? I need to get him onto the left track somehow. Well, now he is on the left track, so I guess I'll just keep it that way. Oh yeah, now I've pushed him onto the middle. And then he pushes some stuff. What? He was always on the middle. I are pushing some stuff again, so now I can push him back onto the middle. Alright, it's onto the middle here, so I gotta... So he goes around, and which path does he take? I'm guessing he takes the middle. Huh. Dang it, puzzle, you've got me! Ah! There you go, I did it. It's only satisfying if you see the train crash. Or just casually stop! <laughs> Either way goes. This puzzle is dragging on. Considering we haven't gone far and yet I've... I'm like 14 minutes into the episode. We've still got two more rooms to explore. So yeah, you just kind of push a box. Yeah, I will say this is probably one of the least interesting stages, despite having a bunch of stuff. Nah, it's not the least interesting, it's just got... Some of the more lengthier designs, so to speak. And then you'll be like, oh, your box stops there. Die! Cannon? Take that to the Toy Story Cannon. And then you pick up your... Secret token, I guess, because that is the secret token. So anyway, we've gotten one token. Wow. Making progress, I guess. Yeah. No, we've got two tokens. We've got the rest. Jeez. 
So all I gotta do is gotta grab the bunny rabbits. I believe the boss is in this one. This room. So anyway, I'm guessing this would have been the Woody's Roundup Room, because I guess it's blue, and also because it's got the, um... Now I gotta back it up. <laughs> it's got that big poster there. Anyway, we gotta back it up in here, because you gotta push this box. Wait, 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 are you up? Wait, what, what bit are you up here? Um, I'm pushing this box back into the Woody's Roundup Room. Mexicans! Mexicans! Oh run. no! Everybody run! <laughs> so yeah, how's your personal life? Anyway, we finally uh mixed in. <laughs> I don't know if it's Mexican. It actually might be Mexican because you know it's a Western thing for Woody. Or it could just be Spanish influence, because I don't know my facts. Excuse me, I'm 16. So anyway, you can go along the bottom if you want, but you can go up the top with the snakes! Which would you prefer, the killer bird or the snakes? There's a battery down there. Who puts a battery right behind the TV? Anyway, grab the bunny, destroy the turret, cannon, and jump down into whatever this is. Anyway, we've got enough coins. One thing I like is that the bunny. So you're wondering what's so challenging about him while well, he fires at you. I definitely... It's the boss Mexican. Now! For starters, this guy doesn't blow up, he just kinda lies there. Holy snap, it's the first enemy that doesn't blow up! And I'm sorry, are we on like stage 11 now, of 15? And we finally find an enemy that doesn't explode. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to drop off the coins, because we're going to need to do that. Wow, they're very lazy if it comes to the poles being sprites. Wow. Anyway, we're going to back it up in here, because we need to drop off the coins. Over here. Coin! No, that's a token jeans. Anyway, we'll keep on playing because we gotta get the uh collectible thingies. We got one more rabbit to get. You know, considering you broke into this place to find Woody, you haven't really been seeing a lot of Woody. Yeah, haven't you? Okay, so what we gotta do, we gotta fire our laser beam at that. Why does he close his refrigerator with a padlock? Something is wrong with this guy. So anyway, you jump up here and... Jesse's breaking voice <laughs> seems, to <laughs> seems to tell you that you have to collect the um, bunnies. And there's one more in the stage. Ooh, reflection. That's fine. Hot stove, my favorite. Nope, not quite, you gotta jump back. Unfortunately, you can't turn off these cans. Also, you slide down these poles, that's really annoying. You know, it's not really an annoying stage, actually. It's just got a bit of puzzly elements, and that's what they kind of pull off. In this stage and uh, stage 14, they tried to pull off a puzzle. Puzzle elements. I'm not gonna bother grabbing the coins much. There you go. Wait, hold on. I wanna hear Jesse's prepubescent voice again. 
Say something. Open here, bud! <laughs> <laughs> I just did it! Yeah. So anyway, we got the token of glory. Exit stage. And beyond. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? No. So anyway, we got all the tokens and I'm very happy. But we can tag along one more boss battle because I guess we gotta do that. Is it Emperor Zerg? It is Emperor Zerg. <laughs> I knew that. Whoop. Don't save on top of my Gran Turismo, jeez. I like how it also counts your deaths, I think, in the save file. So, thankfully I'm doing well, but I'm probably going to lose it because the health carries over. Which is a bit jerkish. Watch out, he's got an eye on Blackbird! Watch out, he fires lots of tennis balls. <coughs> but we're gonna cut it there because then you'll find out that there is a plot twist. Plot twist that has been pulled too many times. So anyway... Holy snap, he looks so worse. So anyway, what you gotta do is you gotta watch out for his tennis balls and you gotta not fire it in because he will pretty much be invisible. Can I grab a battery? There is no batteries in here. Oh yeah, spin it, yeah. Oh, I'm coming over here. Let me spin you. Get over here so I can... There you go. Get over here. Then he fires these green balls that home in. Or they should be homing in. Lens flare. Destroy Buzz. Buzz Wait, you playing as evil Buzz? Nah. Uh, even though I should be, but I'm not. Isn't it kind of weird how Buzz's grunt when you get hit? Seems to sound a lot like Zerg, actually. Oh, come on! Don't go over there! Oh, come on! Stop dodging your way off! Oh, let's go for the green balls. Ah! Damn you, green balls! Ow. Maybe I should actually... Oh no, I died. Thankfully, they're very kind, and they keep the boss's health where it was. Here we jump! Oh, come on! Oh, gosh! Holy snap! I was panicking there for a second. I'm not quite sure if you could tell. Now I'm panicking. Panicking. Panic! <laughs> so I've been going fine in this game until I get to Zerg, because he's the only boss. Because he can only be killed by spin attacks. How annoying. To infinity and beyond! You know, I'm not gonna game over, but jeez. Anyway, we get to save our game. Is it? Will it tell us off? Is it? Will it tell us off? No. Um. Will it put a mark on our? Yeah, it's put a mark on our game, saying that we died. Yep. Ah, dad. Anyway. Sleep, take the pedals. Rex, you navigate. Hammer potato, operate the levers. Oh, don't you get to drive? You don't get to drive. Oh, strangers from the outside. Oh, no. He's in a red light. We can catch him. Maximum power, Slick. Oh, it turned green. Hurry. Why won't it go? Use the wand of power. <laughs> the handbrake. I like how he drives a Toyota. 
Okay, so we're going to the next stage. Not right now, because I really shouldn't have done that. You get to watch the video, but you don't get to watch it. We haven't seen this already. You must save our lives. We are eternally grateful. Will you just leave me alone? Ah, someone's coming! Ooh, a puppy! Uh, bark, 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 bark. Listen, Flyboy, the contents of that case are worth more than you make in a year. You got that sport? You be careful. Do you have a fragile stick or something to put on that? Because I know the fuss on that there. I have lots of cookies. Once it came back, it's crumbs. <laughs> Happy Monster Sync! <laughs> okay, but we'll save that for next year because we're doing that next year. See you kids then!